Good morning everybody, my name is Paul. Uh, I'm going to continue the little video preview of the uh, ZEQ 25 GT mount from my Optron. Uh, a, few users, a few users on the forums have asked me about the payload capacity of this mount, uh, how it sounds or how it works at 27 pounds, which is its rated capacity. I don't have any OTAs uh, that weigh 27 pounds. My largest refractor is 9 pounds, it's a 90 millimeter. I do have a uh, a six inch newt common hunter but that's only 16 pounds and I was thinking of piggybacking them but then I remembered my uh, my 10 inch Richie Crichton uh, this is a 32 pound Richie Crichton it's mounted in the Vixen saddle uh, and what I had to do is to try to achieve balance is to jury rig some weights I've, I've got two 5 kg weights a, a 1.7 and a 3.7 weight here uh, for a total of about 32 pounds and the, the two center weights are just sandwiched between the two top ones because they're off the IEQ 45, which has a larger shaft. This shaft is 20 millimeters. And even with 32 pounds of weight, it's still not balanced in the RA position because the counterweight shaft is not quite long enough. So the OTA is out of balance in the RA position. Uh, and I'm going to perform a slew. It's, have, it's, over, it's overloaded naturally. And I'm going to slew this mount right now to... Uh, NGC 342, which I know is a, a pretty serious slew. So 32 pounds. I don't want to go to that NGC because that will be wrong. 32 pounds and a 10 pound mount, and let's see what happens. I have no safety net, so I'm a little concerned. Not even straining. And it's tracking. Alright, let's see how it does on the backwards journey. Gonna go back to the zero position, see how it see how it works pulling up against the gear. Not even straining. Uh, 32 pounds on a 10 pound mount. Not a hint of camming out of position. No signs of strain. No hiccups. I'm continuing to be impressed with this particular mount. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.